Professor Kieslich, I'd like to congratulate you on your recently accomplished study titled GI colonoscopy is superior to standard colonoscopy for increasing adenoma detection rate. Thank you. Now that your manuscript is accepted for publication in the GIE journal and currently in press, let me ask you this. What exactly is this GI product and how does it work? So the GI colonoscope is a balloon which is permanently mounted on the distal tip of an otherwise normal endoscope. So during withdrawal, the balloon is insufflated and that centers the image. It also captures the air in front of the balloon and also expands the folds. So the visibility of the colonic surface is much improved. Thank you for that. Uh, what were your original reasons to conduct this study? Colonoscopy is meant to save lives because screening colonoscopy has shown to decrease the mortality in those patients who underwent colonoscopy. One of the key quality markers is the so-called adenoma detection rate. That means at least one adenoma has to be found. We have investigated that the adenoma detection rate can be significantly increased by using the GI colonoscope and this will lead to a reduction of interval cancers as it was shown in previous studies. What is the study design you have used and why? It's a huge study because we wanted to show the real benefit of the system. After a first study, which was a tandem colonoscopy, where we could show that with a GI colonoscope you miss less lesions, now we have randomized our patients in a one-to-one -one ratio. It is a multi-center international study with more than 1,000 patients. And then we could show that GI was able to increase adenoma detection rate, but not only in the whole colon, also on the right side on the colon, as well for flat lesions. And for the first time, as I know, a study has shown that also more advanced lesions could be identified. There are many attempts to increase the adenoma detection rate already. Why is your study subject different or how does it compare? I think the study is important because it's so simple. The idea is simple just to insufflate a balloon. It's part of your normal endoscope and you only use the balloon if you think it's necessary. In our study we have insufflated the balloon during withdrawal and so the maneuverability of the endoscope is completely normal and you just use the balloon when it's needed. And we have shown that for experienced as for non-experienced endoscopists, there was a significant increase in the adenoma detection rate for all participants. How does your study and the GI align with quality criteria in colonoscopy as established via the different guidelines? We have a new European guideline, but as well US guidelines showing that adenoma detection rate is so crucial. It was shown from our Polish colleagues that the adenoma detection rate has to achieve at least 20%. But this was 10 years ago. Nowadays, we'd like to go to 40% and this could be clearly shown. Without the balloon, by using a high definition endoscope, we had an adenoma detection rate of 37.5% whereas by using the balloon, 48% could be reached. So in scientific terms, what is your study demonstrating? The main outcome of the study is that we can easily increase the adenoma detection rate by using a balloon which is permanently mounted of an endoscope. It is very easy to use and everybody can learn it very quickly. We have shown that not only the adenoma detection rate was increased, but also more flat lesions, flat adenoma, serrated lesions, as well as advanced lesions could be identified. What do you believe will be the consequences of your study result? Because it's such an easy approach using that balloon, I think it could be developed as a standard of care because it is something it can be used on daily practice whenever it's needed. It will not alter the maneuverability of the endoscope or the way you do endoscopy and it also does not the change of time you need for endoscopy. Thank you very much, Professor Kies. Thank you.